Hey, you're alive. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never gonna wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, a phone, maybe? I hope you don't mind. But all I found was some loose change. So, wanna tell me who you are? Yes, indeed. Hello, and welcome to the Forgotten City. Let's see. Yeah, I am Fino. Apparently, I have very light skin. And I'm. Efna. Well, it's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but. Any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? Um. I barely. Oh, I was stretching from ancient ruins. Archaeologists, years of studying history, gave you occasional insights into the ancient world. Was in covert mission. Soldier. You have a military issued firearm, but only 10 bullets. You have to use them judiciously, since there's no way to get more. I was on the run from the law. Fugitive. Your time on the run from authorities has made you quick on your feet, and you're 25% faster than when sprinting. I probably remember anything. Amnesiac. Your recent head trauma has increased your pain pressure, making you 50% harder to take down. I would go for archaeologist. Oh, you're an archaeologist? Then you'll definitely want to hear this. I don't know if it's exactly what you're looking for, but there are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped or injured or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him. So I'm just kind of stuck here, waiting. I need... what I mean is, I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him? If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? Mind if I ask some questions first? Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy, I just... What do you want to know? What's your story? Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? Yeah. You're not even going to tell me your name. Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. What would you like to know, especially if I'm going to be helping you? Alright, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey, it's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. Well, thank you for saving my life, Karen. I'm not going to say anything about me. Uh, you're welcome. Always happy to help. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Who is Al? He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. But maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. Where are we? You really don't remember? No. We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. Ooh. What can you tell me about the ruins? Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al. Have you tried calling for help? What am I? An idiot? You're you can Karen. go a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. Okay, that I think that's all. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? Alright, I'm in. Thank you. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Please. Hurry. Oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. Oh, thank you. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Okay. If my computer should handle this much. Oh, there's a fake. Okay, so it's just rising and lowering the flashlight, and it doesn't seem we have a battery. Any kind. 
That's good. That's always good to be worrying about managing batteries. Please don't be a horror game. Please don't be a horror game. Please, please, please don't be a horror game. If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. It reads... You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. You who wish oh. to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked... The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. The For wicked this? shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. Could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time? Could people have survived down there, against the odds? It seems there's only one way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation. Or a warning. It's a bit Not worth. There's a bit too big. Oh no. Please tell me some middle system. Um yeah, there seems to be a little bit too big of a time between the lines. A young Roman woman in a post of lamentation. Many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Yeah, it kind of does sound like Midas's. First, for this one. Roman gladiator, mid-stride. What could have made a gladiator flee? That is gonna be a horror game. Don't know what it means. Oh. Assume. Who are you? <laughs> yeah, there seems to be a little bit trouble with organization of the game, but maybe it is slowed up a little bit more. Yes, maybe. Okay, F9 is for reload checkpoints. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll change that now. Because I don't really know. I hate it. Just checked it earlier. Why would you ever do that? I can't change that. Are you serious? Oh my god, okay. Well, do that again, I guess. Oh my god, this will be interesting. I can't pause my videos. And... If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, <laughs> except in the Latin It shouldn't matter whether we... Okay, we can't sprint underwater. But we can inscription here. take out our flashlight. You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. Yes, thank you. Oh, wait. I'm not gonna press anything. ...shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this 
shall be their final resting place. Could an underground woman city ever make like a secret was for all for this life. time? Could people have survived down there against the odds? It seems there's only one way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation or a warning. Al Worth. What was on the other side there? Roman military commander attempting to scrap away from something. Maybe a different kind of Gorgona? Medusa? Roman legionary in terror. You can scratch the Minotaur. Yeah, Minotaur's usually ripped there. Roman woman who appears to be praying for help never came. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. A cold such of an old man wearing water clothing. This must be all. But how is that possible? To whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, that you'll suffer the same fate I did. I've spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two options. Death, or that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now. And find out what awaits you beyond that portal. I have no idea. Oh. I'm here to find out what I did. Why am I advancing? I have no idea. I don't remember why I came here in the first place. So why would I want to continue? This way. man on his knees as if begging his gods for mercy. I don't like that. And usually I would just press pause button, which is F9, to <laughs> shorten loading times for you. But since I can't do that, you're stuck here. Stuck here, not stick. You're stuck here with me. And looks like loading times in this game are for long. It's the is the same city, but not as ruined. Um, why did my cursor change? Oh, we're gonna talk. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. 
Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Um... I'm f and I've just came from the future? Uh, no idea what you're talking about. Me? Oh, wait. Are you a bit, you know, not right in the head? Yep. That's all right, friend. Everyone's welcome here. Uh, thanks, I guess. But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you, you seem very lost and in more ways than one. So let me make this nice and simple for you. Yes. Live by our law here and we'll all get along just fine. I have a feeling that it won't happen. Not laws, law. There's just one, the golden rule. Oh, the golden. And the punishment for breaking it's, well. Is the golden statue? kind of horrific. But our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him, so I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? All right. All Just away. show me the way. When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living down here. But, as you can see, we've got a nice little community oh. now. I love this game. <laughs> Only 23 of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. No idea how, since nobody knows a way out. But it's just big and dark enough to get lost in, if you're not careful. He did it even Aren't better you going than Witcher. Introduce her? me to your pretty new friend, Galerius. Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking her to see the magistrate. That pompous old boar won't be magistrate for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out today drinks at my bar for free tonight. Uh, politics. I'd stay clear of it and her if I were you. She's. Uh, it's not my place to say. There are still some right, golden statues around. Where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage, and wheat. Huh. That one usually gets a chuckle. The bloodless shadows wander oh. without. I thought you were another statue. Ah, don't mind Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since. Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the Forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing, just what we had on us when we arrived, and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau is where the Magistrate and the other patricians live, so don't expect a warm welcome. Galerius, you're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the villas. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the Magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. You'd better go with him. Okay. Just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? <laughs> what did you just say? Uh, I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. Link. Greetings, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. All right. Uh, lead the way. Me. The only thing you really need to understand right now is the golden rule. What's the rule? Let me see if I can explain it this way. When I was serving in the Legion, if there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. They just divided us into groups of ten, made us draw straws, and whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. Didn't matter whether he'd done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the collective. We call it decimation. If that mm. seems like rough justice to you, you're in for a rude shock. Because the golden rule is exactly ten times worse. The magistrate can explain the rest. He's up these stairs. Okay, I guess we don't want to talk. Um, magistrate, hello? We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? I'm Esna. A curious name. Thank you. 
to match a curious accent. But I digress. I see you have the piercing and astute eyes of Athena. You must be a woman of great learning. Oh, We're yes. always happy to welcome another scholar to our little community. Equitia will be delighted to meet you, I'm sure. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. It is beautiful. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. Your little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? Mm, can't say I have. Nor could I, until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle, is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. From what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. We've come to call it the Golden Rule. It's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, ask away. Okay, so first... Uh, okay, what counts as a sin? An intelligent question. Thank you. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone know. agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide? As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper, as Rome has for centuries. Mm. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. What is legal isn't always moral. And many of your laws and customs are considered by barbaric where I'm from. Barbaric? Barbaric? Yep. What are you talking about? The Empire is the most civilizing force in the known world. Rome is a beacon of light in the darkness. For 800 years she has borne great statesmen, philosophers, poets, artists and engineers. We have comprehensive laws protecting the rights of our citizens, which have unified countless warring tribes all across the Mediterranean and beyond, from Gallia to Judea. All our citizens are treated the same, regardless of the color of their skin or their sexual preference. Can you say the same? When our people are starving, they are given food rations, and when they are wronged, they have the right to bring the guilty party before the magistrate. Our laws forbid treason, murder, assault and rape, as well as theft and arson, and so on. No other civilization in the world is so advanced, and you have the 
the hubris to call us barbaric? Don't you lose all of slave ownership? Of course. What else would we do with those prisoners of war who would otherwise have been executed? And besides, there are laws for their protection as well. Don't your people watch blood sports for entertainment? On occasion. But our gladiators are almost all volunteers seeking glory. Or condemned prisoners who would have been executed anyway. I do not see the harm. Don't women have fewer rights than men? Of course. But with fewer rights come fewer responsibilities. And the right to be protected by their fathers and husbands. It is making a point. Don't you prosecute Christians? Uh, you mean the blasphemous cult responsible for burning down half of Rome last year? It's hard to blame the people for being angry about that. Don't you practice collective punishment? Are you talking about our practice of decimation? Of course. We could hardly unite all these warring tribes without a disciplined, formidable legion. Where I'm from, we consider those things to be abhorrent. Well, right now, you're a long, long way from home. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist, whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. What did you mean when you said Rosperina sent me? You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. It's said to open a doorway in time, so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. You don't belong in our time, do you? You're right, I'm from 2,000 years in the future. 2,000 years? That is unfathomable. Please, tell me, in your time, what did you see? Oh. What had become of us, of this city? Nothing. You'd been... If you'd all been turned into golden statues. I have imagined it, our downfall, a thousand times. But it still breaks my heart to hear the truth of it. How does the ritual work? All I can tell you is that it's a ritual sacrifice to Proserpina. I stumbled across instructions. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases a live animal. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me in the future? I did see human remains in the temple. Ah, I assume that was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Well, I suppose that's all I can ask for. Why can't you investigate? Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it'll seem perfectly normal. As for me, well, it pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though, unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. Fair enough. Do you have any suspects? Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is yep. anymore? What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation, the better. How do I know you're not the person responsible? Me? Why would you suspect me? I've just told you, 
I'm about to sacrifice my own life to ensure these people have a second chance. What reason could you possibly have to suspect me of all people? I suspect everyone. Fair point. I'm glad you think so. Without trust, without each other, we won't be able to prevent what is about to happen. Fair enough. If I do this, will you help me get back to my own time? If I understand Persepina's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. Let me see if I can explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you'll have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Make sense? I think so. Okay, so that's all the question questions ah. I had. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden rule? Alright, I'm in. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city, talk to everyone, help them if it will win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless of course you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. Alright. I'll start, I'll start right away. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. Well, it's kind of a hospital. Oh, get right on it. Ah, uh, that is going to be it for today. Oh, for now. Oh, I really hope you read that. So, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive. Yeah. Nope. All household shrine where ancient homes offer daily prayers for. Oh, not from Santilla. Santilla to Sentius. May Jupiter open. Maximus, Maximus, continue to protect and guide you. Thank you for making me your daughter and for the lovely birthday pendant. I promise we'll wear it always. I feel so safe and fortunate to have you as my father and Sentia as my sister. I sense you've been feeling apprehensive about the election next month, but if you can just show them the strong and dependable man I know you to be, you'll be reelected, I'm sure of it. Okay, so yeah, that is gonna be it for today. But for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye! <laughs> Whatever are you wearing? <laughs> I don't know, I don't even have legs. So, bye!